Hey folks, welcome back to another video. This is John with Smart Home Mojo, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing a smart Wi-Fi plug from eBright. Now this smart Wi-Fi plug is different from other traditional Wi-Fi plugs, which are typically round or rectangular in nature. This plug also offers two USB ports that can be used to either power or charge devices in addition to the smart plug. Now, because this plug offers two USB ports in addition to the smart plug, there's some additional functionality and use cases where you might use this plug in your house. And we're gonna cover those coming up. Now, there is an app also that controls this smart plug from eBright, which is the Smart Life app. We're also gonna walk through the setup of this plug using the Smart Life app and show you all the steps in order to get this plug up and running in about two minutes. So don't go anywhere. There's lots to cover here with this smart plug from eBright. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's jump right into the main features of this smart plug from eBright. I think one of the main features of most smart devices is the ability to use your voice to control smart devices such as smart plugs from anywhere. With little or no effort, you can control lights and other home appliances from anywhere using your voice. Whether you're at home or on the road, using the Smart Life app on your mobile device, you can give voice commands using either Amazon Alexa or Google Home Assistant to turn on and off home devices. On this plug, you can also create a schedule. You can conveniently use the schedule feature to automatically power on and off home devices such as lights, fans, or coffee pots, or almost any other home appliance that has a physical on and off toggle switch. Now you also have an added benefit of a countdown timer using the Smart Life app to control this plug. You can get peace of mind by utilizing this feature to set a specific time for lights or other home devices to shut off. This would be great for a child's room to set a certain light to go off at bedtime, let's say after 30 or 45 minutes. Now I think one of the biggest benefits of this smart plug is having the two USB ports. You get a huge added benefit with this multi-purpose plug with the two USB ports that can easily charge or power devices in addition to using the smart AC plug on the device. You can control the USB ports independently from the AC outlet on the smart plug, and we'll show you that during the demo coming up shortly. Okay, now let's cover off some of the use cases that come to mind when utilizing this smart plug from eBright. One of the first ones that comes to mind is using this smart plug near a bedside table at night. Not only can you remotely turn on and off a bedside light at night instead of getting in and out of bed, but you can also use the USB ports to charge wireless devices such as smartphones or tablets overnight near a bedside table. Now, another great use case for this smart plug was if you had a child away at school or college, what a great multi-purpose smart plug this would be for some of the same reasons I mentioned, either remotely turning on lights in a dorm room or apartment, but also for the purpose of charging multiple devices at the same time. Now, the last use case I can think of would be utilizing this plug around the kitchen area in a home. Because of the USB ports, it would be a perfect device to have around to power remotely lights in the kitchen or living room area, but also at the same time, as in the other two use cases, being able to charge multiple devices such as smartphones or tablets throughout the day. Okay, now let's run through a quick setup of the eBright Smart Plug utilizing the Smart Life app. Now, the first thing you wanna do is download the Smart Life app if you don't already have it. If you do have it, just go to your smartphone and open up the Smart Life app. Now, once we have the app open, there's two ways to add a device. Right in the middle of the screen, it says add device. Also, in the top right-hand corner, there should be a blue circle with a white plus sign. You could also hit that as well. So let's click on add device. Now, with our smart plug already plugged in, let's go ahead and go through the steps to add this device to the Smart Life app. Now, there's two ways to add a smart plug. You can do it manually or an auto scan. We're gonna do this manually. So on the Smart Life app on the top, make sure you have add manually selected. On the left-hand side, it's electrical. And then back on the right-hand side under socket, let's select socket Wi-Fi. Now, the next thing we need to do is set this plug up to the wireless network in the house. This smart plug, like most other smart plugs, work on a 2.4 gigahertz network. So what we need to do is make sure that we assign it to the 2.4 gigahertz network in the home. Put in your password and hit next. Now there are two modes to set up plugs and wireless devices to your network, easy mode or AP mode. In this example, we're gonna use AP mode. So in the top hand corner of the next screen, tap on easy mode and then drop down and select AP mode. Once you've done that, hit next. 
Okay, what we need to do next is make sure that the plug is connected to the AP mode. So we want to go over to the plug on the wall and hold your finger on the power button until you get a blue flashing light. Now there are two kinds of blue flashing lights, a quick flash and a slow flash. We want to change it to a slow flash. Right now it's a quick flash. All you need to do is hold your finger on the button until that quick flash changes to a slow flash. It should take about five or six seconds. Okay, now the blue flash is definitely a slow flash and we're okay to proceed with the AP mode. Go over to the screen and hit next. On the next screen toward the bottom, you wanna hit the radio button to the left of the confirm the indicator is blinking slowly. Once that is selected, hit next. Okay, now we need to go over to the wireless network area and connect the Smart Life to the network. Hit go to connect. Select the Wi-Fi settings of the Smart Life plug. It'll connect and you'll see a blue check mark to the left of the Smart Life plug. At this point, go back over to the Smart Life app and finish the installation. Once we're over on the Smart Life app again, it'll say adding device. This should take about five or six seconds to connect. Okay, now the plug is added. We can click done. Now we're into the settings of the Smart Plug, which we'll talk about next. Okay, now that we're in the main setting here of the plug we just set up, let me go over just a few of the main settings here, such as renaming, creating a schedule, and the countdown timer. So in the main screen here of the plug, there's a couple of things you can do. In the upper right hand corner, there are three dots. If you tap on that, you're prompted with a number of different settings here. Now the items I wanna point out on this screen is right at the top where it says USB smart plug. Over on the right, you'll see a pencil. You can click on that and rename this plug tapping by tapping on the plug here over on name and you can name it whatever you want. So in case we wanted to rename this, just to say, let's say you, we wanted to name it just USB plug and hit confirm, it now becomes USB plug. So if we tap out and go back out of screen, you now see it says USB plug. The other items on this screen are third-party controls. So connecting it to Alexa and Google Assistant, online notifications, you can get not notified with some online notifications when this plug is online or offline, creating groups, device update, etc. So you'll wanna go through this screen on your own and see if there are any settings you wanna change. Let's go back out and go to the main menu here where you can control the screen and then create the schedules and the countdown timers. So you'll notice a couple things here. On the left-hand side, there's a master power button up at the top. So if I hit that, you'll notice that both the switch and the USB plugs turn blue, which means they're on. If I turn it off again, that main button at the top, they go off. Now, as I talked about earlier, you can independently control these. So let's say I just wanted to turn on the switch. I would just hit the switch, the big round white button there, and only the switch comes on and is highlighted in blue. Now, if I wanted to turn the switch off and just turn the USB ports on, I would just tap below the big white switch and hit the USB ports. And now you'll notice just the USB ports are on. So let me turn those off. So now you know how to power on and off independently the switch and the USB ports or both of them together. Now on the right hand side, across from the switch and the USB ports, you'll see switch one and USB. What you can also do is by tapping on switch one there, is you can rename both the switch or the USB plug. So let's just take out one and just name it switch, and it changes name. And then on USB, you can rename that as well. So if you just wanted to say USB, let's just change it to USB ports. Now it says USB ports. So you can control the switch and the USB ports independently just by calling out the names that you assign to each one of them. All right, so now we know how to power them on and off and change the name of the switch and the USB ports. So let's move up to the top portion here and talk about scheduling and countdown timer. So if you click on schedule, you are then prompted with, what do you wanna create a schedule for? The switch or the USB port? So it's the same for each. So let's just quickly create a schedule for the switch. So there's nothing there now. Let's add a schedule and you have a couple of options here. So um, you can repeat it just once if you click on that, you can select multiple days, or if you just if you don't select multiple days, it'll just be a, a one-time schedule for the plug or the USB portion. Um, you could also create a note for the uh, for the notification, uh, and then turn it, click it on here, and then at the bottom here, you click on Are you turning it? Are you creating a schedule for turning it on or for turning it off? So let's create a schedule here at 11:06 a.m. We'll do it only once. We won't assign a note to it, but we will assign a notification 
right here. And then we're going to be turning the switch on. So let's save that. And now you see the schedule we just submitted here. And let's go out here and I'll show you the notification real quickly that it, that it sends to your smartphone. Also, you see when you go back out, you'll see now a notification under switch that says turn on after 11.06 a.m. So let me quickly show you what that notification looks like and then we'll move over to the countdown timer. Okay, and there's the notification that we get for the alarm that we just scheduled. It said scheduled task succeeded and it turned it on, turned that plug on at 11.06 a.m. So side note here, the good thing about setting up a smart home is that when it gets too hot in a room, like it is in this room right now, you can turn the air down. Alexa, turn the downstairs to 68 degrees. The heat set to 68. Side note. Okay, now let's go over to the countdown timer function and test that out with the USB ports. Now on the screen here, you'll see the USB ports are not on, so let's go ahead and set a countdown timer for and click on usb ports for two minutes and click ok now you'll notice here the settings to control using the countdown timer there's no notification so it'll just go on and off in two minutes though let's ask the device to turn on the usb ports after two minutes and you'll see device will go on after two minutes from the usb port so let's go back out and let's wait for the uh, two minute timer here and see if the USB ports come on in two minutes. And you'll see the notification right there on the USB ports. It'll turn on after 11.22. Okay, so the USB ports just turned on at 11.22 and the notification under USB ports went away and executed and the countdown timer worked just as we scheduled it to on the USB ports. So we covered a lot here in looking into the Smart Life app. We showed, showed you how to independently turn on the switch and the USB ports also how to turn them off altogether. And then we also showed you how to create a schedule and use the countdown timer feature for both this switch and the USB ports as well. We also showed you how to change the name of the switch and the USB ports. So you can conveniently use whatever name you want to for both of those components within the plug. Okay, well that wraps up our review of the smart plug from eBright. You know, smart plugs add so much convenience to our lives today in terms of being able to use our voice to control devices around the house, whether we're in the home or outside of the home on the road. But having a smart plug that integrates USB ports in addition to an outlet just adds so much more functionality. And we cover those use cases today. Now, we also covered the setup of the Smart Life app and reviewed some of the features such as the create a schedule or a countdown timer within the app itself. And it is really easy to set up the app and this device in less than two minutes. So as always, please take a quick second and subscribe to the channel right now. Give us a thumbs up if you like the content in this video and leave us a comment as well. We try to respond to all comments in a timely fashion. This is John with Smart Home Mojo. Thanks for watching the video today.